Is that you too? Yeah. What's in it? Uh, squash blossom filled dumplings. <laughs> You and the D word. Me and the dumps. <laughs> a lot of times when you fry squash blossoms, you lose that wonderful aroma that they have. It just tastes like fryer oil. So I want to poach you. I'm familiar with most of the flowers on the table. Most of them grow wild in the Bay Area. My girlfriend and I do a lot of foraging there. But in Golden Gate Park, foraging is illegal. So I never forage there. You have five minutes left, Chef. How you feeling, Chris? Feeling like I'm sticking around for a while. Oh, sh I wish the radishes were a little bit more caramelized, but at least my sauce is coming together nicely. Boop, boop. What I'm worried about the most is my dish isn't perfect. I'm going in the sudden death. Chefs, you have one minute left. That clock's moving quick, dude. Oh, yeah. My hands are shaking. All right, Fatsy, squeeze your butt cheeks real hard. It'll calm you down. <laughs> oh, my God, it's working. Thank you, Joe. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. No pressure, no pressure. Time's up. Hands up, utensils down, please. Beautiful plates. Thank you. Hi, Adma. Adrian. Meet Hi, Chef. Chef David. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Good, how are this you? This pretty. What did you make? The seared scallop carpaccio with watermelon radish, black radish, and a little bit of yuzu. And what are these? These are radish blossoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you. The flowers that I chose were chive blossom and onion flower. It's a tartare of sea bass and scallop with charred onion and a little wonton crisp. What were the onions that you charred? White onion. I chose the mustard flowers, the broccoli, and the arugula. I made a paste to rub onto the lamb. The chili oil is chili de arbol and fresno chilies, and the touch of orange blossom. I don't think I've ever had chili and orange blossom before. Taking advantage of the aroma as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Today I made you a fancy toast. What makes it so fancy? I steep lavender in my olive oil, my honey, and it has a little goat cheese, fig, and a candied pecan. Walks a nice, fine line between sweet and savory. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I made a simple, uh, just roasted radish salad. And then I took a creme fraiche, thinned it with a little buttermilk, and I seasoned it with chive blossoms, radish flowers, a little arugula flowers as well. How long did you roast the radishes for? Like five, six minutes. Uh, so I did a stuffed squash blossom down on the bottom, uh, fondue, uh, goat cheese, and squash blossom. I was waiting for the stuffed blossom. I knew someone was going to do it, and I, I didn't want to fry it. I really like the, the blossom on its own. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You, Chef. This looks uh, very colorful. What do you have so here? So today I prepared for you a ricotta semolina cavatelli, and I'm featuring squash blossoms, and then on top as well as an arugula pesto. Pasta again? I was going to make bucatini. But that's still pasta. I know. It's my comfort zone.